March Madness is upon us. A couple of that with the NBA season is going on, actually going to the playoffs. A better way to bet on those games and games in other sports like the Premier League and everything else, or even Major League Soccer, then betus.com, where you can get 125% of the sign-up bonus, which is up to $2,500 by using the, pro, the promo code TKT for the clown times. So what is other perks here? You can bet on the go. You can bet anytime, anywhere on your mobile device. You get fast pass or you get paid immediately every single time. And last but not least, you can, you, like, like you can do live betting where you can bet during the game, getting the early and the best lines. Again, use the promo code TKT for the clown times to get up to 125% of the sign up bonus, which is up to $2,500. So again, uh, not to sound like a book of record, but go to betus.com where the game begins. Congrats to Trayvon Walker, <clears throat> defensive out of Georgia for being the first overall pick. I would have preferred Aiden Hutchinson from, from Michigan. Uh, even though they say Trayvon Walker's ceiling is higher than Hutchinson's, but Trayvon played on the Georgia defensive line. Now all of them, all the defensive linemen went in the first and second round, right? So it's like no one keyed on him. And he only had what a handful of sacks, like maybe three or four sacks. You sure you want to pick him as the number one overall pick? Ceiling be damned. So it's going to be interesting to see. But what's more interesting is there was only one quarterback taken in the first, in the first two rounds. The first one. Speaking of, how do you feel about that quarterback, that, that quarterback selection? Well, you know what? It's a safe, it's a safe selection. I've watched Kenny Pickett a lot at Pitt over the last mm -hmm. few seasons. I watched him last year, obviously, when he broke records, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he was the Giant United's award winner, uh, which means that he didn't suck, right? Um, you know, he led him to an ACC title, you know, beat Wake Forest, didn't play in the ball game against Michigan State. Um, he was a, he was a five-year player. Um, uh, he took advantage of the COVID rule that you could come back an extra year, um, which, you know, good for him. That, that actually, he, the, the extra year for him was similar to what the, extra, the, 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 the last year did for, um, Joe Burrow at LSU. Right when he, like when he like, walked off of a national title and a Heisman, Kenny Pickett walked off of an ACC title and records broken at Pitt. He broke Dan Marino's records, which is pretty damn cool, right? And he was a finalist for the, uh, for for, for the Heisman Award. Now, I already mentioned the John Unitas Award uh, winning. Um, so he was the safest out of the out of the out of the uh, out of the bunch. I mean, it was just a bad quarterback class. I mean. And I think the other teams got the memo on that. They didn't listen to folks in the media saying, you know, hyping up uh, uh, Malik Willis and Desmond Ritter from right here at University of Cincinnati. Uh, you know, the dude from Carolina, he probably should have stayed his ass in school. You know, got to pick the third round. But it, it, it's just that. The, the first quarterback went at number 20. The second quarterback went in the middle of the third round. That's how bad this quarterback class. That's how little the team thought of this quarterback class, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I'll, I'll say this though, Scott. You no, know, the yeah, last man. time they said we had a bad quarterback class, that class included um, some scrubs, uh, Lamar Jackson and and Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes mm -hmm. is that how you pronounce the name? Yeah, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Mahomes or I call him Mahomes, so that's why. Uh, uh, Patrick Mah <laughs> Mahomes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to them two Bamas. But, yeah, that was the last time they said we had a weak quarterback class, and we saw what those guys did. The thing is, though, that's going to be very interesting. Like you said, with your boy uh, coming out of Pitt, playing, staying in Pittsburgh and playing there potentially. That's a great, that's a great situation for him, too. Yeah, right? He's going to be surrounded by a, a, a very stout defense. Um, that, that running game is going to be interesting. I don't know if um, – if the Steelers have done, you'll have a better answer on this than I will. If the Steelers have made the moves to improve that offensive line to make them better, but they right. also have some young wideouts there too. So if he can go ahead and, and come in, in, in in a very patient situation, because they're not going to rush him to come back. No. With Trubisky being there, right. unless Trubisky just falls on his face and then they feel as though they need to come out there and, and, and put him out there a lot earlier. But even if he does, he doesn't necessarily have to win games on his arm just yet and we've seen that pattern before 
here in Pittsburgh where they didn't necessarily have to rely on a QB to win games. They could just have him make plays, have their defense continue to make plays, and they win games like that. Because we have not seen uh, your boy over there uh, uh, lose or go under 500 ever in his career. And I don't see that happening in the uh, foreseeable future either. Yeah, like we, you mentioned the offensive line. They've added some pieces to free agency to the offensive line. So they've added, they, they've added quite a few guys. Like, uh, so, you know, uh, James Daniels, um, you know, the, the cast like that. Um, so they, so we, we, we've added some, some offensive linemen in like a uh, free agency. So which allowed us to pivot and be more flexible in the draft, which add, also allowed us to add, like two wide receivers, which was great because our receiving core was not deep at all after the you know the loss of uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, James Washington, you know, yeah. So so we so we so you know DeMarvin Leo, I mean I'm sorry George Pickens, George Pickens mm-hmm. from Georgia, he was yeah. hurt like most of like last season, but in spot mm-hmm. duty he did pretty well. And before he got hurt, he was a stud. He went from a first world. He's a first world talent. That failed in the second round because of his injuries. And then you have Calvin Austin the third from Memphis, who was like, boom, it was almost like like uh Tyreek uh Hill light in terms of explosiveness. I call him light because he obviously is, you know, you know, he's a rookie and he did at Memphis, but keep an eye on him. He's gonna be our gadget guy. Um uh, so it's, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be 